One more fish story this evening. Thousands of fingerling salmon swirled down the drain today. It's part of an effort in the Kiwani River to protect the baby Chinook while they get ready for life in the open water in a couple of weeks. As Fox 11's Eric Peterson reports, a new state law is making that possible. A special delivery rolled into Kiwani Thursday morning. We will be putting 10,000 fish total into the pens. We have two pens, and each pen will receive 5,000 Chinooks. There we go. The pens have a dual role. One, they're designed to keep birds away from freshly stocked fish, which are worth nearly $20,000. One of the things we observed over the last several years is the increased cormorant population has been devouring the uh, resource that is Chinook salmon. Two, fish can adjust from hatchery life to life in Lake Michigan. While the fish are in the pen, it may allow them to imprint better to the river water here, and it may also al al allow them to survive better after they're released. Survival of the fish at the bottom of these nets affects the bottom line for area anglers. Sport fishing is big business along the lakeshore. Lee Hosh is a fishing guide from Algoma. He charters more than 200 trips every year. We're trying to make this a better fishery for all the fishermen, not only those on charters, but those coming with their private boats. It's all part of a new state law. Both houses of the legislature overwhelmingly passed the initiative. The governor signed it last year. But will it work? The DNR says net pens have been used in other states. Some of the projects have shown that net pens have had a positive result. Others have shown really not much effect, and some have actually shown a negative effect uh, because there is a risk of, of holding fish in, in a confined environment like that. Kiwani fishermen say a similar fish release under different rules was successful last year. Of that 17,000 that we were allowed to put in the pens last year, we lost one fish. In Kiwani, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Volunteers will be keeping an eye on the salmon, and in a couple of weeks, the fish will be released into the deeper lake water off the Kiwani shoreline.